mayoral candidate Mitzi Hunter is making an announcement this morning regarding the environment. Let's listen in live. I have put forward my three and six plan. Under my plan, 40% of home, homeowners, all those with a household income of under $80,000 will have a below inflation increase of $108 a year. That's a 3% increase. More than 50% of seniors are able to eliminate or defer their property tax increase and have no out-of-pocket costs at all. Small businesses and creative activities will also pay nothing more in new property taxes. And higher income homeowners who can afford to pay a little more will be asked to pay $216 more. And that's, you know, a 6% more each year. It's a new, different, affordable, and progressive way to adjust property tax increases fairly. A plan that does not depend upon wishful thinking, that other levels of government are going to provide a Toronto-only bailout. That has never happened before, and it's not going to happen now. We need to get going on our own priorities in Toronto, and we can. I want to fix the six so that we can invest and that we can build a Toronto that works for everyone everywhere. Join me. You know, and what I hear, in fact, as I'm out and about in the city is, you know, are we going to maintain those litter bins that are overflowing with garbage? You know, are we going to open the water fountains and keep them clean and operating? People want year-round washroom services at our parks. And so, you know, that's what a great city is about. It's about the services that day-to-day -day people rely on. You know, a gentleman I spoke to over the weekend has had his rims busted three times on the potholes in our streets and he, he has to incur that cost. So if we can fill those potholes and keep our streets all over the city well maintained, clearing the snow, those are things that really affect people's quality of life. And today, you know, I'm announcing something that really does beautify our city. It makes Toronto such a special city. We have a green and vibrant city, but we have to maintain those parks. We have to make sure that they are well maintained and that local residents have a chance to utilize that service. You know, in terms of the overall, you know, I have put forward a fully costed 71-page plan to fix the six. And, you know, people want straight talk. They want to make sure that they know what they're paying for when it comes to property taxes. And I have done that. I've been very straight, very open with people by presenting this plan well before voting begins. We know that advance votes start on June the 8th and people are going to want to know exactly who they're voting for when they vote for me as their mayor. They can go to my website, mitzi4mayor.ca. They can download the full plan and they can review that plan to know exactly what the plans are. The, the large, uh, large scale plans that it, are, are in place, such as building more affordable housing, as well as those, you know, quality of life issues like having clean, well-maintained streets and parks. Well, I have put forward a very 
straightforward uh, way of dealing with property taxes and uh, being very clear with the voters. Uh, it is a 6% increase, which is just 0.5% more than what is um, being asked of residents this year. I've put forward a detailed 71-page plan of what that property tax increase will do for the city to improve services in the city, to make sure that we don't have that crumbling infrastructure to unlock the gridlock and uh, and make sure that our city moves, reversing cuts to TTC and other services that residents rely on. What I am going to do is recognize that, you know, for some, that $216 on average might be too much. So I've cut that in half. It's going to be a 3% well below inflation for homeowners that earn 80,000 or below. And so that that is going to to be the way that um, that that they they see that I am being fair, I'm being clear and open and transparent with with taxpayers. As well seniors and I've talked to many seniors, those earning under 80,000 each year will pay no property tax increase at all. And and that's also important. Also our main streets and our small business, our art activities will also not experience uh, any increases in taxes. Yeah. Well, we've been listening to Mitzi Hunter speaking with reporters uh, making an announcement uh, regarding the environment.